Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ace Combat 2. Previously, we uh, we destroyed the enemy's prototype bomber. Now we're gonna attack their mobile fleet. Assault of the mobile fleet. We have received information that the enemy's mobile fleet is on the move. They seem to be ready to rally immediately after joining forces with their frontline troops. Your mission this time is playing? to attack the enemy's mobile fleet and put a stop to the sea invasion operation. Target, the enemy's mobile fleet. The Aegeus cruiser's firepower capability is immense. Oh, he's going to gonna shoot my missiles down, possibly. And use the hit and break away operation. Hopefully it won't be as bad as the ones in that one mission in Assault Horizon. I have nightmares about those. And I'm going to stick with my tornado. Let's get edge on this one. Let's see. Let's go looking at F-117, but let's, let's do Tornado Squadron. Just like Naval Fleet Assault, got that awesome, awesome guitar track. Nope, that one is not yours, Edge. Yeah, those Harriers can't obey too well. Now who do I have targeted? I assume another Harrier? Oh no, ZOE plane. Let's get him. It's kind of interesting that this game has both F-18Es and F-18Ds. I don't know if I've seen another Ace Combat game have low distinctions like that. I mean, I guess you could kind of say Ace Combat 5, because it had like that the bomb cats and stuff, but you honestly didn't see the like special variants of planes often in like or being flown by the enemy AI pilots. They'd mostly just stick with the base model one. Right, what kind of? Okay, that's just a regular ship. Two percent damage. How will I survive? Hey, wait, was it? If I'm not, if I'm remembering correctly, isn't the Orange Ocean a place from Kirby? I wonder if Ace Combat and Kirby take place in the same universe. I wonder how big of a, uh, or, okay, so, if y'all know Kirby, uh, y'all know the Battleship Halberd. Could one of the, like, player characters from Ace Combat take that down? I wonder about that, because... Shoot, I don't know how big the Halberd is, but it's got a lot of defenses. And apparently it can fly extremely quickly. And it's very well built to can fly without either its wings in operational condition. But I believe that that, that that the intro movie from Revenge of Mad Knight Superstar said like the thing had some kind of anti-gravity drive which is pretty cool technology I don't think anything in Ace Combat has that unless it's like Electrosphere because that one's all in the future and stuff alright let's get back to the battle Ooh. warship world of warships I kind of already messed with uh, the world of whatever World War II games. It's kind of more of a War Thunder guy. That's definitely a fun game if uh, if you haven't heard of it already. Kind of a... It's kind of like Ace Combat, but with World War II planes. All, it's all multiplayer, so I guess it's most like Infinity. It's hard to target the correct target. 14% damage. That's a bit more worrying. Oh, 
Oh shoot, we got our aces. Oof. And I'm playing way too low. Don't know if that's meters or feet, but I'm gonna be careful. I assume it's meters, cause I don't know, usually in ace combat games you'll be uh, targeting enemies at like 800 units away but and I know like in like when I I've seen it be like around like four or five thousand before God I'm trying to do that conversion in my head Let's see. Oh, come on I don't know I I'm definitely more of a like kilometers guy when it comes to gaming. I even have that in Grand Theft Auto, even though it takes place in an American city. And I'm an American, so I should be most familiar with miles and stuff. Cool, cool, cool. But I do kind of prefer Fahrenheit Celsius. For non-scientific purposes, it seems to be good at measuring, like, the temperatures humans will generally encounter in the weather. Oh. Ooh. That is indeed a missile. And where's my wingman? I'm overdoing something, I don't know. Right, 14. Did I get both the refall pilots? I don't remember. I must have. Alright, maybe let's try some gun runs. Can't go wrong with one of those. There we go. Oh, that was awesome. Try and carry planes now, asshole. God, if my roommates can hear me, they probably think I'm crazy. Oh, well. I usually record pretty late at night, so they don't have to listen to my insanity. I don't know if I saw any... Aegis ships was all was all just the ships, warships, and carriers. It's a nice, uh, it's a nice view, and I didn't crash into the sea. I'm always grateful for when that happens. Looks like I dodged a missile there. Oh, cool! I'm. I'm landing a tornado on a carrier. Very realistic. Alright, so just gonna want to be very slow. Left turn. Oh, oh, I see why he's telling me to do that. Oh well. Slam on the brakes. Very good. Man, those water textures are amazing. Totally doesn't look like someone just put a, an aircraft carrier in a bucket of chocolate pudding. Cool. 168, very nice. Hey, I'm a warrant officer now. And I can fly the... the, the Griffin. Awesome. And I got the ZOE Major and the Hangman. Or did I? Because it's it's not colored in, but uh, I'm going to hope so. Hope that I did it right. So in the next mission, which has a very interesting name, we're going to be we're going to be breaking into the enemy submarine base. So stay tuned for that. Have a wonderful day.